Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Lance here. And I know the first question you're asking, right? Lance, that's a mighty big bowl. What you got what you up to? Alright, so what I'm doing today from the title is uh I'm doing a soap swap with the uh I'm doing the Brambleberry soap swap. And I just stuck in my sodium lactate. I used a lot less than what I have been. I just want to see. Everyone's been telling me about the crumbly soap that it's been possibly too much. So what I'm doing today is I'm doing a double batch of soap here. And I've already added in my kaolin clay, and I've added a little bit of titanium dioxide just to kind of make it a little white. And I've already mixed that up, and I'm stirring in my sodium lactate now. Uh, today I'm going to be soaping with Brambleberry's Love Spell. It's a dupe of Victoria's Secret fragrance. And I know all you soapers that are familiar with the fragrance and you're about to hit me. I'm sure you just want to smack me across the screen. The best way I can describe this fragrance is black licorice. And you're thinking, oh my god, that's so nasty. Who would want to soap with it? But I'm not very good at picking out all the notes and the individual things. And I'm learning, but I'm, it's a slow process. So the best way I, I describe Love Spell to anyone is it has that black licorice smell. Now the smell of it, I love it, but the taste, mm, nope, we don't I don't eat the black licorice. So let's get started. I'm like I said, I'm doing a double batch today. And I want to thank everyone for joining me in Amy Wharton Soap Challenge. We're just completed week three. Where You'll see that yeah, I did, I'm going to try to redo it later on. It's not going to be while the challenges are going on. But what I did was I completely, it was a complete fail as far as the standards of the challenge. But it came out awesome. So today I just thought I would push myself even further while doing all these other techniques is just doing a double batch of soap. So hopefully this this comes out okay. Now that was my lye solution and water and this is my coconut milk. You know I've gotten really keen on using coconut milk in my soaps. I really can't, I can't wait till Some of them are ready so I can test out how the milk does. Alright, I didn't add the fragrance yet. I, I, I don't want to forget, I'm not going to forget it, don't worry. But I just want to get that a little mixed up. Because I've used this fragrance before. I did a test run of the leopard leopard print soap for Amy's challenge. I did a test run on that and I used Love Spell. And it worked great. It didn't move fast or anything on me. So I've been a little busy bee with the uh, soaping here. Here's part of it. Alright, 
that is at a very it is it's not even at full trace it's just emulsified and because I've got some colors I'm going to be working with it's just best if I don't <laughs> take it all the way to trace at all so I do have plenty of time to work with my colors here all right so today I'm working with bubblegum pink green chromium ultramarine blue ultramarine violet and fizzy lemonade and all of these are brambleberry colors even the titanium dioxide, everything's brambleberry here. I'm just doing a whole dedication. So I'm going to pour this. Into. A jug. And make a mess. I'm good with messes. Sorry, my hand went in the way. I'm just dividing up my batter between my colors. Mix them up one at a time. Sorry it's so dark. I still haven't got that light. Got the pink mix up, mixed up. Got the yellow mixed up. All right, so I've started a Facebook page for for me for my videos. It gives you, it's gonna give you updates on the soaps. I am considering opening up a store, and but before that happens, that's far down the road. But what I do I want is I want people to try my soap. So give me about another month. So look for this in May. In May, on my Facebook page, which I'm going to put a link in the comment in the uh, description to link you to my page. 
and I don't know how many people yet. I don't have all the details. This won't be for another month, but go to my Facebook page, like my page, so that you get updates, because, like I said, I'm going to actually start giving out some of my soap that I'm making here on YouTube. I want your feedback on, you know, if you like it, what if it feels good, if I need to, if I have a good quality soap. And I would hope that I would get, that I get a good response from all of this. So look for that next month in, in May. I don't have an exact date. Maybe as the videos go along, I'll get you more dates. And I'm going to keep you updated here on YouTube. But for now, please go to my Facebook page and click the like button. And you will get updates on what's going on with me and my soaps. Alright, so, got everything mixed in. Everything's good to go. Wipe up some of my mess. Before we go any further with the molds. This is starting to get to a thickness I can work with. Alright, like I said, we're doing a double batch here. Alright, I got you on camera here. That's the important thing. Starting to thicken up here. I'm filling them halfway full for now. I'm just going to add in my colors one at a time. Got the purple. Save a little bit for... Got a little bit set aside for the tops. Now let's do my chromium green. And I'm doing this up high so it goes down into the soap as well. This one here in the middle. And they're obviously they're all gonna look a little bit different anyway. So even when they look different, when I'm I'm doing them a little bit different here, no two bars of soap are exactly like except for the solid color ones. Let me rephrase that so I don't tell you anything wrong or that's not true. All right, throw in some pink. And yellow. Alright, I'm going to pour 
pour this slowly. Huh. Can you see? You can kind of see. Alright, so I'm going to take this down low with my spatula to kind of just have it resting on top. And just let it fall down. Alright, this is smelling good. I know I get quiet when I make soap and I shouldn't have long videos if I'm going to be quiet, right? Sorry. Sorry. Once I get to a professional level like the rest of uh, the other soap makers that do videos, I'll be there. So, I'm going to tap this down, they're a little full, now I'm just going to come back and just kind of spoon and drizzle, this on. Do a stripe for each color. I know, I heard you yelling. I'm not doing the other side, huh? Not doing the other soap. I heard you. Just gonna throw it here on this side. Come back with my green. And I still got some more color left over. I and I'm gonna drizzle in a zigzag motion the purple because what I'm gonna do is come back and swirl the top. Don't do this at home. I know I have gloves off, but I have to. Okay, so I'm just taking my little skewer and I'm just doing circles. And I'm going to do that for the top. And you can't see perfect detail. And I will come back. You know I'm going to travel with you. I'll pick you up and bring you over here so you can see the design perfectly when I'm done. But I'm not going down into the soap. I'm leaving the middle alone. I just want y'all to see this because... Let me go ahead and spritz this with glitter. I have snowflake glitter. Well, shimmer dust. Dust the tops. All right, so hold tight, buckle your seat belts. 
that's the top. You got the uh, the blue, the purple, the green. That's a better view. Much better, huh? That's the first one. This is the second one. Alright, I'm going to put you on hold. So you can undo your seat belts, guys. And we're going to come back in a few seconds with the cutting part. Talk to you later. Bye. Oh, not bye. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. And we're here to cut it. First, I just want you to kind of... Let me pull one over. Look at the top. It's all shiny and sparkly. And you got all the colors there. And this is the bottom. Where it's going to be white. And then color. So what we're doing right now. Is we're going to be cutting this. I went out and got a cheese slicer to give me nicer cuts. And look at. There we go. If I'm sitting like, stand like this. You can see the colors a little bit just on my little end piece. Save that for later. And I haven't quite come up with a name yet. I think I'm going for just Love Spell. Just probably leaving it love spell since that's the fragrance and our first real cut. Get out of the light and you can see the swirls, the colors in the middle. I'm just swirled. And you remember on the the top, I didn't swirl them. I didn't take a skewer all the way down. I just did the top. So this is coming out amazing. First cut though. There's the second cut. You can get the yellow and the pink. I think this looks good. This is gonna this is the first time I'm doing large batches. And this is gonna be the first round of people to try my soap. So I'm really excited to hear what they have to say. It's, this smell is amazing. It's still strong as strong as ever, but it's only been 24 hours. So this hasn't had any time to cure. Actually, you know what? Let me pause this and try to re-angle the video. So I'll show you this last slice. And I'm going to see what I can do about re-angling this video. So hold on just one second. Okay. So I think this light is going to be better. Even though now you get to see all my mess. That I haven't cleaned up yet. But it's okay. I'll just come over here. And you can definitely see the soap a lot better. And you can definitely see my colors a lot better here.
So, as I was making this soap uh, yesterday, I'll just mention that uh, there was the bombing in in Boston with the marathon, and I just want you, everyone, to know all the viewers. If you have, if you are in, or have friends or loved ones, or know people who have friends and loved ones of anyone involved, and that have been affected by the uh, bombing in Boston, just so you know, my family, our, your thoughts are in our prayers at night. We do. We don't have anyone that was involved or anyone that was there, but if any of my viewers do, or if you are my viewers and you have friends or family that was involved, our our you know thoughts are with you at this in this time of need. So that was my first first loaf, and I got. Two. Eight bars out of that. So these are going to look different because I didn't do it exactly with the, uh, I didn't do everything exactly the same way on both loaves. So all, everything's going to look different. To be honest, let me show you a better view of my top. The tops will look like this. I should do, should have done this for my mica swirl. Those that are following Amy Warden's challenge, if I would have did this, I guess the last challenge was practice for this. But as you can tell, I definitely redeemed myself with the swirls, even though I didn't use micas. But with the, lot, the look of the tops, I definitely am improving in my designs. And I think they're looking a lot better as I make more soap. So there's more. And I did use the glitter on top. I don't know if I showed that or not. My brain's not functioning. Every bar and every everyone's looking different, unique. Alright, so I'm going to actually post pictures of this on my website, on my Facebook account. And this will fully be cured in May. I don't have an exact date right now. It'll be May 25th, 27th, roughly within there end of May. I like to let it sit for a full six weeks. Uh, I don't oven process so I feel more comfortable waiting exactly six weeks before they're 
ready to use and I'm just gonna have to add that I'm just gonna make this my last bar and not have an end piece because it'll make a full size bar so that's the last piece and this I had a bunch I had some extra colors uh, in my cups so all I did was just throw this into a little tiny silicone mold and you can see I got all the colors in except for the white I just it was full by the time I got the colors in alright so um, this will be ready at the end of May and like I said I've got some projects I've got going on and check out my Facebook page and I'm gonna put a link in the description box where this one and a couple other soaps that I'm gonna do here in the next couple weeks they're gonna be available to you for free I you know I'm gonna let you test them out to see where I stand on my product so I will talk to you in a couple weeks probably next week I'm also going to do a video on wrapping these up right before I ship these to Brambleberry. Alright, I know, I'm rambling. So, I will talk to you later, and God bless.